um i pointed out something um and it uh, it is regarding um erica angela merchant um who was awarded for humanitarian for the humanitarian award right in canada what is the name of the award dragon international women's achievers award yeah the iowa award and i came out and i objected <laughs> i objected to it because i don't think at the time i didn't think and i still don't think that somebody like erica should get the award because erica terrorizes the internet on a daily basis and she says some not so nice things about people right and if you know who is a human humanitarian or what a humanitarian is all about then you would know that erica would not be the type of person to get it right fast forward to today now we found out that erica has been receiving you know a huge lump sum of money right on a regular basis and maybe a weekly basis or whatever and it it has exceeded the amount that she needs to feed the homeless which is once a week i think it's on a sunday right few homeless people and she has been getting an exorbitant amount of money right the money i range well total so far based on my understanding is about 12 million jamaican dollars that's based on my understanding that's what she got that's the calculation that is coming out of a particular camp right i have some figures because you know i've documented it and honest, honestly i haven't even checked it properly so i can't give you a proper figure but the the, the receipts the, the 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 numbers on the receipts you know my receipts they're factual they're they're actual real figures they are the real figures you know this is you know the the, the money the amount of money that was sent to um to erica the landlord angela merchant right At first, when I heard about the story, I was laughing. I was, I was laughing. I was laughing at the Plankatarians. Mr. said, serve on the right. You deserve it, right? Because me remember, uno they drag me. Left, right, and center. Uno me and they drag me. Uno Plankatarians. And I just, our students, them, she have over there, you know. She have the Plankatarians. Them are back. Her. She's the Plankatarians. They're huge supporters of um, Erica. And then pack up over there you understand because the moment you're you're siding you know with um uh, miss donna right you're rooting for they are going to flock to you and social media we all know this by now right so they're gonna flock to you so three quarters of them they're over there and anything with you go against me or anything with it cost me <laughs> you understand which as must me not care right I want to support her. I don't care about her no money, you know, because I don't always come and say, okay, my bad man, I'm envious and whatever. I always say, don't put that in a, <laughs> the same sentence with me. With me. But I, again, I don't care. I don't, I don't say what I want to say. I'm over it at this point, right? So, I don't really care what I want to do with no money. I phone no money, I want to donate it and give it away, whichever way I want. want. But I tell you, I say, I don't say, three quarters, I want to shame. Three quarters, I want to shame when I don't hear about the amount of money where she get out of her because three quarter owner not even have a milli three quarter owner not even have ten thousand pound not even about ten thousand pound yeah three quarter owner not even have let me say not even three thousand us dollars in our bank what may i say about may i go too far not even two thousand someone wanna live hand to mouth right someone wanna live hand to mouth and i wanna see him one get up and a on no, no money <laughs> give her and i get it because you know you know it, you know it's the homeless you know and it's in our country jamaica and it tugs at our heartstrings so whenever we come out and we see certain things you know we feel some type of way and we're not 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 me me not, not because there are certain things that me not gonna contribute to you understand what i'm saying mm -mm. I'm not going to. And for those of you who are going to come in on my comment section and say, what have you done? I've never seen you do anything. That's our no problem, yeah? You don't know want everybody to come out come declare what they might do, right? Enough celebrities 
have them money and them are donated to charities and i do a lot of great things out there but they don't come and declare it to the world but because you know used to seeing persons on the internet you know showcasing this showcasing that you know things that everybody supposed to do the same thing but i am not one of those persons right because i give to certain charities right i mean i go come out and uh, 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 and declare to the world even though i've mentioned it before in the past you know but me not go come out on a regular basis or if me I do something to help somebody i'm not going to come out and talk about it that is not my thing that is not what i do i you understand i don't need to show people what i'm doing right others want to do that i feel them think that and so be but don't come over here and go to other people's pages and tell them say how oh, them now do this and you know you now do that because you don't know you don't know we are all different you don't know who we are do behind closed uh, you know behind the scenes right all right so that's that so as me say me laugh after uno and i was happy for her and at one point me the one send her one 200 pound i swear to you i wanted to send her a 200 pound for tell her thank you tell her thank you because me never see a set of people was a full fool let me tell you something we want to feel for understand say if somebody come out and ask you something right remember this person have how many thousands of followers over on youtube and on facebook and maybe ever on tiktok if she use all of those platforms and maybe instagram as well not saying she does instagram but me just say if she use all of those platforms and ask for help don't you think that there's going to be an outpour of help don't you feel like a lot of people from all over the world are going to send her money and it is going to exceed the amount of money that she that she requires they just going to exceed the amount of money that she needs to feed the homeless now when she get this money now what do you think she's going to do she's going to keep it isn't it isn't it why would she send it back? I wish idiot I got send back that the amount of money. And I me tell you something. And everybody honest and transparent. That me I tell you no. And then everybody full fool. Because some people I get that they're gonna say, What? Me get all of this. They might go pocket it. Right? They might go pocket it. Them now go send it back. It's just come on, people now for you, you know, for you, you know, senses. She's not going to send it back. So did she do something wrong? The only thing what she do wrong, yeah, is the fact that she had more than enough. What could have last her for a long time you know in feeding the homeless you understand but when you're getting something and you're used to getting that something and you see how easy you're getting that thing right it is making you richer it is making you more comfortable worse you don't have a job you think so you're gonna stop let's be honest people you're not going to stop so you're gonna always come out come ask because you know you're going to get it you understand that is human nature as me saying everybody honest that's human nature erica is not working so i don't blame erica you understand what i'm saying i don't blame morally yes because you know that is that is safe <laughs> you understand and when you think about it really and truly she never go and see if it found you know, you know she never go and see if it found her. so really is is that the, it's just it's dishonest it this is dishonest but she never see frown you know. so it's not safe because I uno send it go gear. So it's not theft. And me no know them say a scamming. Me no know. But and as she come on us go and take it. She come on know so she a feed the homeless. She come on she 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 lied. You know, she's been dishonest, but she never teeth it from you. You understand what I'm saying? Alright. When we speak about the un, the, the the unregistered charities, this is what we are talking about talking about it's not just one unregistered charity there jamaica and many so just imagine if erica local charity where she have you know you know for your local charity are pulling this amount of money so just imagine the other charities that are not registered right just imagine how much they might get hmm? just imagine you know and none of that is being declared to the public so just imagine and even the ones that are being declared it's still a lot right but like me say i phone no money so really and truly i don't really i don't really care but i'm just looking at the fact that a lot of you you are sending your money and you you, you don't have jar shitting on nobody honestly you don't have jar shitting on nobody and you don't have a pot to piss in but yet still you are making somebody who is not working richer than <laughs> You know, richer than than you. You you if you, if you, if you get me. Like I say again, there's no nothing wrong with donating and helping. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. 
you know, to help somebody, right? But you know, if you sit up and spend the coffee and ask yourself some questions. You understand? Ask yourself some questions, right? And I am, I, 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 right now, the government of Jamaica needs to start doing something about this. They need for, they need for clamp down. They need for stop persons who are, you know, operating unregistered, unregistered charity. They need to go register in charity. I don't care who the hell you are. I do not care who you are. It is time for you guys to register on a charity. It is time for you guys to, you know, have, you know, treasurer, secretary, or whatever is our audits or, you know, whatever. We need to have books. You understand? Everything go on a book. Right? Everything is documented. So then you can see, so all oh, this money has been used. All the money we are coming, where is it going to? So we, you, you guys, we need to, you know, we don't need to have all of these things in place. Because if you guys, if the charities was registered, right? You wanna have um, Erica as a millionaire now. 12 million. <laughs> we get to understand that 12 million, you know? 12 million. I'm not saying that's the figure, you know, but based on the calculation, it's 12 million. And I'm going to go back and calculate the ones that I have. Because these ones are factual. This is a fact. Them, you see those figures are facts. It's it's her name and the receipts. They are, those are real receipts. I don't know, fake. Those numbers, those figures, they're not fake. Are real figures. You understand what I'm saying? I true me not so invested for so long. I really check. Because I don't I don't care enough for me money, I fool no money. Right? But at the same time, you know. I am trying to look out, you know, for, you know, innocent people, vulnerable people, because they have some, you know, you know, elderly people, then come on social media, they never understand certain things, then just see her, they say, you come on, you feed, you know, feed the homeless, and they feel sorry, and they say, you know what, I have one like a $20, you know, much, but at least me a contribute, and then feel good, not knowing, said this person, <laughs> this person is taking you for a ride, you know, so just a little, the little one them me feel sorry for me not feel me not feel sorry for like the the big old woman them way them are they are taking sides you understand or oh, me not like this a person yeah so you know me i go give you know me i go contribute this me not, you know you understand what i'm saying like mm -mm, it's not for them one day and not for the one them where they pass sides and for the look of the the, the elderly people that the vulnerable one them want to understand how certain things work them will feel like the people and it's just like them you know i feel like the people now go pull the because some of them they, they, they they're oblivious <laughs> they're really oblivious to what is going on outside out there you understand what i'm saying all them know is you know maybe them family member will tell them say listen nobody make nobody call upon the phone you know until they say you win no lottery or whatever so they're aware of that but they're not aware of people and social media showing them you know manipulating them and playing on their emotions right to, to get them to depart with their money they don't know that so when they see the homeless people and they see certain things they're gonna take out their money and poor little thing them don't even understand you understand what i'm saying 